Hello everyone, welcome back to this uh, Twinkai 3 motion control series video. In the previous video, we introduced move velocity, move relative, and move absolute. These three typical motion control command, they are common used motion control command in the automatic control. For example, you can use the sequence control and trigger the execute and trigger the access movement. In the previous video, when we showed how we can control this move velocity, we found one thing. After we trigger this move velocity, the axis will keep moving, and axis cannot be stopped. It. So when we use the move velocity, we need to use the MC halt or MC stop to stop the axis. For the move relative and the move absolute motion control, they don't have this problem. That's because for the move relative, it running the distance by your side, and once it achieves that distance, the movement will stop, the axis will stop. The same thing for the move absolute. Once it reaches this target at that position, so the axis will stop itself. However, for the move velocity, this is the speed control. Once we fire this axis, the axis will keep moving. It cannot stop by this command, so we have to involve the MC stop or MC halt. So in this video, we will mainly introduce MC halt and MC stop. Also, I will show what the difference between them. Okay, so firstly, let's log out and let's shift to the offline mode and let's program the MC halt and MC stop. And let's firstly declare some variables. Those variables include the trigger signal command, feedback status variables, and the instant variables. So let's go to the GVL underscore SA, this global variable list. And firstly, let's create this function block instant variable. Okay, for the MC hot, I based on this MC underscore hot and uh, create this tag FB SA underscore hot. And for the stop, FB SA underscore stop, it based on the MC underscore stop. This is the instant variable. Okay. And for the trigger signal, let's go this area and let's create to bool signal, that to bool signal is used to trigger the hot or stop. Okay, I declared this hot execute bool signal and this stop execute bool signal. Okay, and other than this, let's declare some status variables here. And this status will be based on the st underscore mc underscore status, this st structure. I create this structure in a video inside this playlist. Okay, this structure includes the status done, busy, arrow, active. Okay, and arrow ID. And let's shift it back. Okay, I will declare st sa underscore hot based on this structure here. Okay, and stop, that's the same thing, st sa underscore stop. MC status. That is the structure, so I have a st as a prefix. Okay. Let's go back to this single axis underscore LD letter logic. Okay, after this two absolute command, we can create add a new network below and insert one box, drag this box, drag here. At here, let's select the FB SA underscore stop and hot. Okay, let's firstly program the MC hot. Okay, MC hot. We declare this variable based on this mc underscore hot, this date type. Okay. Okay, and then the system will automatically select this mc underscore hot. Okay. And then go next. Network below. Insert box. And next, let's select this fbsa underscore stop based on the mc underscore stop. We declare this variable this instant variable. Okay, so we call those two function block. And at here, let's program the access. And this is used to declare which access this MC stop will control. In the previous video I introduced, we are using the access three. This is the one virtual access. And inside this virtual access setting here, a link to the PLC variable, that variable named single access. Because that single access, this is the name of that variable, it declared as the access here, 
the access underscore reference ref. Okay, this is the access name. So using this way, this access name linked to this access three, this configuration here. And in our logic, we also use this name to say this function blocks are controlling this access. So this link as a bridge links the function block with this access here and execute command here. And for other variables, we can go online and find out the Infosys backoff system. For example, from the infosysbackoff.com, this web page, let's find out the PLC under this hierarchy, PLC library for PC-based system, TC2 underscore MC2, motion function blocks, find out this MC hot, MC stop. Let's review this hierarchy. You can find out this info at here. So for this MC hot, take care of two info here. One is the execute command, one is the buffer mode. Let's look at here. For the execute, take care. This command is executed with a positive rising edge. That means this function block will be executed by this rising edge only. Take care. Also, this buffer mode. This buffer mode allows this MC hot can use a different way to stop the access. For example, if we press this button and we can jump to this MC underscore buffer mode. This is the numerator structure here. By default, that is aborting. That basically means that the access will immediately abort. But for others, for example, this MC buffer or blending low, you can find one feature fit for your application. Okay, by default, this is a board. That means its current running speed will be canceled and the access will be stopped. Go back to this MC hot. So take care, this execute is just the rising edge. And comparing with the MC underscore stop, let's look at here. Same thing for the execute here. And we can go to the execute here. We can see the command is executed with a rising edge. But look at this word here. The access is locked it during the stop. The access can only be restarted once the executed signal has been set to false after the access has stopped it. That is a very good feature. That means if we execute give a rising edge, that time the access will stop it. But at the meantime, if you hold this MC to a stop status, you can turn on this execute. If this command is on, always on, the access can now be moved. If you trigger other motion command, the access will now move. I will demonstrate this after. This is a very good feature. For example, if your access is doing something or if you turn to a temporary stop to prevent other accident motion control command trigger, you can turn this execute on to hold access to prevent any other movement. So let's go back. So for those input, you can type in something, or if you try to leave this uh, input as a default, you can go here and delete those question mark here. Okay. For the buffer mode, by default, actually behind is running this MC aborting. MC aborting. Okay. Also, you can delete, leave as a default. Default that is MC aborting. Okay. You can see here. That means initial value that is zero because that is a numerator structure. So zero means MC underscore aborting, the default value. Options basically will leave as a zero here, empty. Okay, and same thing for the MC stop. So here you can control that deceleration. If you try to quickly stop the access, you can set a high deceleration here. Okay, this is the input. For the output status, we can use the variable we declared from the status here, the status structure. And inside the status, we have a different those status signal here. Okay, let's go back. Okay, we finished the MC hot and MC stop program here. And let's compile and download and let's test their function, okay? build the project, build the solution, and then download active configuration. I'm using my laptop to test this program. And this access is a virtual access. 
Okay, once we see the status change to a green here, and then let's click this uh, login. Login means we are downloading this program. Okay, it's very quick. The program is running and quickly record the program. So from this main, we call the motion control this program. And inside this motion control program, it calls this method single access underscore LD. And inside this access LD, that's called those function block here. Meantime, I can also go the access here and open this commissioning panel here, flow it. So meantime, we can watch this status. Also, you can use the watch table, go to PLC window, click this uh, watch one or watch two. We can turn on this watch table. And from here, you can drag this access, drag to here, find out this NC to PLC dot actual position and actual velocity. We can monitor this access status. Let's go to the top. Firstly, I'm going to reset this access. And then let's enable the MC power, enable this access. I will enable both direction, positive and negative. Meantime, we will see this enabling shows on. That means this access is enabled. And after we enable this, don't forget this override. We need to set something. I will set 100, that means the access will run 100%. So you can decrease this value for test purpose. Okay, now I'm using the virtual access, so I can set 100%. From here, we can also see this uh, override percent value. Okay, let's go down. I find out this MC velocity. Here, the velocity I set 100. Acceleration, deceleration, I set 200. Okay, this is the test value. And now, if I trigger this move velocity, just to trigger it. If I shut down this execute, we will see this axis still keep moving. It cannot be stopped. Okay, unless we go down. Okay, here MC hot. If I trigger this MC hot, watch this status. Also, meantime, we can watch this value here, the axis velocity and the position. Okay, we trigger. Okay, now it stop. And using this deceleration. And because now it's zero, the system is using the default value. The default value come from this access setting here, parameter setting here. This is the default acceleration and the deceleration. Okay, now this access is a stop. Okay, I'm holding, I'm turn on this hot execute. And now I turn on, keep this on at this uh, hot execute. Okay, and after this, Let's go to this velocity, MC velocity here. Let's trigger this command. And after I trigger, we will see the axis will start to move. Even this MC hot is still on because this is SQ, that is the rising edge. So if we give a next rising edge, turn it off first and then turn it on again, using this rising edge, we can stop the axis. Okay, this is MC hot. That's only available when it's got the rising edge. Okay, turn it off. Now let's move this axis again. Let's show the stop. Let's start to move again. Trigger this MC velocity. Axis is moving. Okay, go to the MC stop here. And let's trigger. Firstly, when I trigger it, the axis will stop. Now I'm holding this axis we can see this command is busy and active. When it's active, and now if I turn on trigger the MC velocity, we will see if this axis can start to move. Now, if I trigger, so we will see this function block will not start. And meantime, it shows error here. It shows this error ID. Error ID shows 17135. And let's search this error code. What does it mean for that? If we go back to the back of Infosys and find out this hierarchy, TwinCat2, TwinCat NC, and TwinCat NC error code, and find out this group errors. So here, this error decimal value, find out that's 17.1.35. Okay, this is the monitor fault. That means the access is locked by the motion command because a stop command is still active. That is true because that stop, I'm holding that on. So this access is locked. 
other command can now move. So this is used to demonstrate if we intend to hold the axis to stop the axis, prevent other motion command trigger this axis, we can leave this stop this command at all until you turn it off this command. Okay, now if I trigger this MC velocity here, if now I trigger it, so we can see this axis start to move again. And let's watch here. So if I stop the axis, stop it, so it shows active. Now the axis stop. And if you try to enable the axis, so don't forget to leave this off. Otherwise, other command will not be on. Your axis will not move. Okay, that is MC hot and MC stop. Basically, in our automatic control, once we reach a certain area and we temporarily stop the axis, especially after we trigger the velocity, we can turn on this MC hot to temporarily stop the axis, especially during the sequence automatic control. But if the system finishes the job or back to the home position and without any other trigger, that time we can stop the axis to prevent this axis moving or prevent other accident trigger we can turn this on to hold the axis. Okay, that is the comparison between the MC hot and the MC stop. That is all in this video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up. If you like to watch more videos in my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell. Thank you for watching.